what is up you guys welcome back to the channel i'm going to walk you through a simple instagram ad um in this case you guys what i'm going to be doing is i'm going to be retargeting a few custom audiences i'm going to be con uh, running conversions and optimizing for purchases and what i'm doing is i'm running an ad to this event over here so this is an event that's coming up in april of 2020 um, right now we're in March and so we're just simply pouring it on um, as far as Facebook ads and Instagram ads to get people to register for this event. This is a purchase. Okay. So we're optimizing for purchases um, in this, in this particular case. Okay. So um, I'm going to take you to the setup. Okay. I'm going to take you to the setup. I'm going to show you the ad. I'm going to show you the text. I'm going to show you the objectives, all that stuff. And here's how we do it. So as you guys know, Come to your page, click on create up here at the top, click on add, and that's going to bring you to the ads manager right over here. Okay. Now to run conversion ads, there's a few things you have to do first. All right. So just, just don't come here and automatically run this ad. Number one, you want to set up your Facebook pixel. Number two, you want to make sure your Instagram account is connected to, to your Facebook business page. And then number three, you want to set up a custom conversion okay so if you're new to instagram ads or facebook ads um, i have free training below so make sure you're on my vip list fbadsforbeginners.com that's in the description it's pinned at the top of the top the top in the in the post in the comments below it's a it's a first pin pin comment up there at the post on the post but um make sure you do that first man make sure you know what you're doing first because you, you can't just come in here and just expect to capture leads and conversion ads it's it's right here it says exactly what what you're doing drive valuable actions on your website okay what's a valuable action a valuable action is when someone opts in or when someone registers for a webinar or what or registers for an event or purchases something on your website that is conversions, okay? So many people that I speak to are, are trying to do one of those things, capture a lead, register, purchase something. Everyone's trying to run Facebook ads to make those things happen, but they're running it under engagement or they're running it under traffic or because it's a video, they're thinking they need to run it under video views. And then after they run video views and spend a hundred bucks, they wonder why they got 10,000 views, but no leads or no one purchased because it's, it's, it's the wrong one, dude. It's like, that's why this first step, this is the most important step. You have to be, you have to be choosing the correct objective. Okay. Um, based on what you're trying to do. So in this case, we're optimizing for conversions. We want to drive sales. We want ticket sales. We need people at this event in April. So all I'm going to simply do, I have Facebook ads running to that. And then also I'm going to set up this Instagram right here and just show you the entire walkthrough. Okay. So conversions is what we're optimizing for and we're going to be running this one on ig so what i do is i run them separately so i'll run facebook ads on their own and then instagram ads on their own okay so i don't i don't really mix the two at all first of all you can't i mean you can but then again you really can't because with instagram especially if you're running a video the video has to be a certain size and the video cannot be no more than, I, I believe it's 60 seconds. Whereas with the Facebook video ad, you can have that video as long as you want. And, and normally it's, it's widescreen. Normally it's a horizontal shot of the video for Facebook. Um, but for Instagram, it's that vertical shot. It's that portrait size of the video, right? That, that horizontal shot on your cell phone, for example. Um, and then the video again, cannot be longer than 60 seconds. So that's why I run them separately. It's a completely different piece of content, a completely different post, right? So run them separately is what I, I highly recommend. So make sure your pixel is set up, make sure your custom conversion is set up. So again, if, you, if you're new to that, fbadsforbeginners.com, the link is in the, is, in the, is in the description. Or you can even wait to the end of the video and I'll, and I'll um, tie that video to the end. You'll see, I'll, I'll tie the pixel one because that's where it starts. That pixel needs to be installed and then you have to set up a custom conversions or this won't work, work out, okay? So we're optimizing for that. We're gonna go down, go down. We don't need any dynamic offer audience. And in this case with custom audiences, 
what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to target or retarget, I should say, a few custom audiences. So one of them, I click right here and it'll give me a drop down of everyone of all these different custom audiences. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, retarget FB engagers 365. And then also I'm going to retarget um, Instagram engagers 365. Okay. And what I'm also going to do is I'm going to exclude people who already purchased. So these purchasers down, purchasers of 180, those people have already purchased a ticket to the event. So why do they need to see another ad? They don't, right? So make sure that that group is a custom audience. Make sure that you exclude them from any future ads. Okay. So that's what I'm going to use for that. And then I'm going to scroll down and then for the actual location, what I'm doing is I'm going to go with people living in this location and I'm going to go Los Angeles. Okay. So I'm going to target everyone in Los Angeles and I'm going to leave it at that. And I'm going to go 50 miles around LA. Okay. So that's going to be my targeting for that. And then I scroll down and I'm going to go age. We'll go 24, 24 to 65. And we're targeting only women. Okay. So I'm going to target only women. I'm not going to put any detailed targeting right here. I'm going to let Facebook's algorithm find me the people or, or Instagram, I should say, find me the people that are, 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 are likely to convert. That's what this is all about. So I'm not going to even put in any detail targeting. I'm gonna let the machine work in my favor. And so what I'm going to do on, con on, on connection, I'm actually going to exclude people who follow the page. Okay. Because chances are actually, you know what I'm going to include, I'm going to include, I'm going to include people who like your page. I'll include them. I was going to exclude them, but I'll, I'll include them. Okay. And then over here, I'm going to go manual placement and I'm going to run it on only Instagram. So I'm going to uncheck messenger. I'm going to uncheck audience network. I'm going to uncheck Facebook. Okay. Then I'm going to scroll down, scroll down, scroll down and daily budget. We're going to go with $10. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go lifetime budget. And right now it's 310. I'm going to start this tomorrow on the 11th and I'm going to start it at 6 a.m. And rather than going a daily budget of, of $10 a day, let's see, I'm going March 11th, March 11th to the 18th. Rather than going daily budget of, of $10 per day for seven days, I just go lifetime budget of $70 for seven days. So I'm going to set it up that way. Okay. Um, run ads all the time. I'll click continue. And then over here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure so that we're up here conversions. I'm going to go long form text. Okay. And then we're going to make sure that this is uh, selected right there. That's our Instagram account. So we want to make sure that that is, 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 is for sure where it's running. And then I'm going to come over here and create ads. So I'm going to just simply upload a video. Okay. So what I can do is I'm going to, I can either use existing post or I can use mockup or I can just simply create the ad from here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I can create video, I can add media and I can add video right here. And this is going to simply bring it from um, my computer. So I, I click on this one, upload, and then I'm going to find that video. It's right there. Click on add. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the link to where we're driving the traffic and I'm going to add the long form text. Okay. So this is text that I, that I already had pre-written and I'm going to just simply copy it from over here and paste it.
Okay, so I'm gonna take all that long form. Like I ain't playing around, right? We're we're giving the whole damn description on this one. So I'm gonna copy that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring it down here to primary text and I'm gonna paste it in right there. Okay, so that's the long form text, you guys. And, and, and this is what we tested on, on a previous Facebook ad and it's converting at, at a pretty good rate. So I'm gonna test that same exact text um, with a different video on Instagram, okay? So that video should be upload, select a placement to customize. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to simply, let's go Instagram feed. So we can go up to 120 seconds on the Instagram feed. And so I don't, I don't need to actually add anything. So I'm going to just leave it. I'm going to just leave it as is. I don't need to add, add anything. You can change how your ad looks in different placements. So I'm going to leave it at that. There's the text. And then normally it shows up to the right. This caption should not be longer than 2200 characters. Okay. So then what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to take out some of this text. So day one, um, check the agenda. Okay, so are you tired of going to conferences and not being able to really connect with, unlike other events, you have the opportunity to talk with experts directly. So ask them yourself on April, check out the agenda. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to take out the damn text. Damn it, I thought it would work on this, but it's not. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna see if I have to, let me, let me do this. I'm going to simply take out Okay, let's see if I can, um, let's cut this. Okay, there we go, so it's much better. Okay, so let's move this up. Okay, use code. Are you tired of going to, co going to conferences and not being able to really connect with the experts that are teaching from the stage? Unlike other events, you have the opportunity to talk with, uh, with experts directly. So ask them yourself on April 4th through 5th, 2020. Okay, perfect. So we're going to leave that there. And then the website URL, it's going to be this one up here. So I'm going to copy that, bring that over here. I'm going to paste that in. Okay. And then we got the learn more button. And then down here, we want to make sure that our Facebook pixel is tracking everything, making sure that that's the correct pixel, making sure that that's the correct event, and we are good to go. And we hit confirm, and that's it, you guys. That is an Instagram ad. And in this case, again, I'm retargeting. So I'm retargeting Facebook engagers. I'm retargeting Instagram engagers. I am excluding people who already purchased. Um, and we're gonna run that for, for seven days and, and optimize for more purchases. So that's one way you can, do, you can do event purchases, you guys. You can also run event responses. So as you come in here and hit, hit, the, hit the green button, you can also come in here and run um, um, engagement and right here, event responses that's when you set up an event on facebook and it's an actual event right you schedule it you set it up on facebook and you can run ads to get people to register for that event through 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 the facebook platform but in this case um we're also doing it through eventbrite and running it through through this way as well so we're we're we created a custom conversion around this confirmation page and that's what we're optimizing for is, is conversions, not engagement event responses. But you could for sure do that as well. Um, engagement 
event responses and get people to register for your event that way as well. So coming back to the ads manager, we'll be in review. And that's why, that's why what I do is I normally set the ad up um, hours, uh, you know, in, in advance. So for example, right now it's, it's 7 PM my time. I scheduled it to go live tomorrow at 6 AM because I want to give Facebook plenty of time to uh, make sure that that ad is approved and running on time, especially based on my budget, right? So I want to make sure that that clock starts at 6 a.m. That ad starts at 6 a.m. So that's an IG ad, you guys. That's conversions. Step your game up in 2020 and make that money. I'll see you on the next video. Over now.